Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right, Ben for Tools is proud to present Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. Christmas has come early this year for Maltego users. That's because the folks at Shodan have announced integration of Shodan searches into the Maltego framework for finding and exploring data. What is Shodan? Let's say you're a researcher and you found a bug with, say, oh, pro FTPD. Maybe a hard-coded backdoor? You wonder, how many people are affected by this? Well, a simple Shodan search can give you some idea. Shodan is basically a database of port scan data for the entire internet. It doesn't track every service, but it's an awesome start. Patavera has also added a Facebook Graph API, SPF, and SOA support to Maltego. But if you prefer to keep it ghetto, or are just a more private individual than a community one, Fathom.97 has been released. Fathom attempts to help manage Nmap XML scan data throughout its lifecycle. It's up at fadedcode.net. Ravan is a distributed JavaScript-based password uh, computing system. Submit your crack hashes at adlabs.org. Holy moly, Metasploit has just been blowing up lately. Most notably, Armitage version 11.25.10 has been released, making Metasploit finally look more like Canvas and Impact. It's nice to see it's finally grown into its looks. Also, the Metaterpreter now has a screen spy. <laughs> Whisper Systems has updated their Tech Secure and Red Phone. WANWARE is just clamoring for your attention, it seems. Something new every week, and always too notable to be leaving on the cutting room floor. This week, it's View State Hacker. SysInternals has updated Process Explorer and Auto Runs. SIP Inspector is now at version 1.24. If you were too busy eating turkey to notice, Backtrack 4 R2 was released with a whole slew of updates, including a rebuilt Metasploit, tons more wireless card support, and even a faster desktop. And Win Autopone has been updated. Always scary, always fun. Get it today. Oh, and iOS 4 has finally been released for iPad and iPhone 3GS users. News of which usually doesn't really belong here on H&N. But what does belong is that the new releases of iOS means that you can now run Nessus on your iPad. Sweet. That's it for this week's Tool Time. Never enough time for everything, but as always, you can follow Tool Time throughout the week on our website or on Twitter at Tool Time. That's with zeros, a one, and a three. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.